so you've watched hours of curly girl tutorials on YouTube, you have been scrolling all the curly girl posts on Instagram and Facebook, you've bought the products, you've got your t-shirt instead of your towel, and you are ready to do your first wash day on your new curly hair journey, and it's a complete fail. And you just don't know why. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Yes, today's video is about the transition period, which often happens when you start your curly hair journey. Like I said in the intro, you feel like you, you're ready to go, you've got all the stuff, you've probably spent a lot of money on accessories and curly hair products, and then it just goes wrong and your hair doesn't look curly or maybe it looks crispy or weighed down or just not how you expect it to look and nothing like all the curly girl influencers that you follow and you expected your hair to magically overnight turn into theirs. So yes, there is often a transition period when you start your curly hair journey. Now there are a few special unicorns out there who don't get a transition period and from the very first wash day, their hair looks amazing. Um, I was not one of those, so we're gonna talk about what the transition is, why it happens. I'll tell you a bit about my transition journey when I started my healthy hair journey and then what you can actually do, some, tri some trips and ticks, <laughs> some tips and tricks to help you to get through that period. So the transition period happens for a number of reasons. First of all, if your hair is extremely damaged, perhaps from um, heat styling, straightening, bleaching, or even perhaps chemically straightening your hair. Your hair is holding a lot of damage. And so we can't expect our hair to just bounce back to full curl health overnight. We know that. For some people with extreme, extreme damage, um, they might feel like they have to just chop all that damaged hair off. But that is a very, very personal decision. And it's one that only you can make. For most people, over time, their hair, even the damaged hair, will bounce back to a certain degree. And so it's just a case of waiting it out. Secondly, um, your hair sometimes just needs a little bit of time to get used to being treated like curly hair. If it's been used to being blow dried and it's been used to, to using perhaps like harsher shampoos um, and it's been used to having silicon laden products on it, if you take that away, it sometimes just takes a little while for your hair to get used to your new routine and what you're doing. Um, also, it takes you time to get used to what you're doing. So you obviously have to learn different techniques, figuring out which techniques work best for your hair and which products work best for your hair. A lot of the time uh, when we start out, we just reach for what's available in you know the local drugstore. And often that's things like Cantu and Shea Moisture products. Now I'm not saying those are bad. They are not bad products. It's just a case that those tend to be heavier, richer products, and they can weigh down quite a lot of different curly hair textures and cause the hair to be kind of lank and stringy and greasy looking. Um, but those are the ones that are easily accessible, so quite often that's what we go and buy. You know, we've got a huge lineup of Cantu and Shea Moisture and then we wonder why our hair looks way down and lank and greasy. So there's a lot of trial and error involved in figuring out uh, which products are gonna work for you. And the same goes for techniques. Some curly hair loves to be raked through, you know, rake those products through and it springs right up. For other pat curl patterns, raking your products through is just going to wreck your curl clumps and they're not gonna spring back. Um, you, you might be better with something like praying hands or even just scrunching in your products. So all of that is just trial and error and trying those different techniques and products takes time because obviously you can't do it all in one day. You wait for your next wash day and then you try something different and you wait for the following wash day and try something different. So sometimes it's just a case of you might just hit the jackpot and figure out the products and the techniques that work for you on the first try or it might take months to figure out the ones that really work best for you. Um, so it's just a case of patience and trial and error. My curly hair transition, um, I would say took about three months and it was a mixture of all those things I previously mentioned. So there was a part of it that my hair just kind of freaked out a little bit when I stopped using all the silicon laden products. It was really, really fluffy for a while and I just could not get any curl definition. Um, and part of that was obviously my hair suddenly was used to being coated in that silicon and I had removed that, taken that away, and I was using different types of products. Um, and a lot of it as well for me was techniques. So it took me a while to discover that at that time, my hair just did not do well with being styled on soaking wet hair. If I styled my hair soaking wet at that time, 
I would I would have you know decent looking results within an hour it would lose all definition and be super fluffy but I discovered that if I removed some of that water first and you know micro plucked my hair then added my styling products it was that was a game changer for me I also went in with like a lineup of all these different products I was using oil on my wet hair um, followed by a mousse followed by a gel and it just it was too much, it was far too much. And using so many different things, it was impossible to know which thing was the issue. So um, I paired it right back. And I also tried a mousse, at the time it was the Pantene Defined Curls Mousse, which I think you can still get. It's a little bit harder to hold, to get hold of than it used to be. But um, it was you know, a very traditional sort of mousse, not a foam, like a thick, creamy mousse. And the first time I used that, I remember the day specifically, I was just, blown away by my results and I just I couldn't believe that this was my hair from that time I used that same routine then on for like a year or something because it worked absolutely worked for me but yes a three full three months it took me to get to that point where I'd figured out the kind of the damp styling and the fact that my hair loved this mousse rather than the the kind of custards and the creams and things that I had been trying and so that was three months of not one single good wash day I did find that my hair looked better on refreshed days when I first started out so adding a little bit more water and product uh, on those refreshed days my hair was like spring up and curl up a bit more and have a bit more definition. Um, but yeah, it took me three months to get a decent wash day. So I do understand how frustrating it is um, when you have in your head how you think your hair is going to look and it is just wash day after wash day after wash day. It is not living up to those expectations. I absolutely get it because I've been there. In fact, I would go so far as to say that my hair got worse before it got better. So directly after starting my healthy curl journey, my hair looked a lot worse than it was before. And it takes determination, like it takes the mindset of, I am gonna stick with this, I am not gonna give up, I am not going to go back to my other products or get my straighteners out or whatever. That's, that's a big part of it, is just being determined to get through that initial period. And I think if you're expecting that you're going to have this transition period, that helps a bit, knowing that it's not an overnight fix, it's not a quick fix, it's actually, you know, there's time, patience, trial and error involved, helps you to get through that, I think. And it was so worth it. And from that three month point onwards, my hair, I would say, just gradually improved and got better with a few bumps along the way, as we all get from time to time. So if you are going through that transition period, or perhaps you're thinking about starting your healthy curl journey, and you're wanting to get some tips in the bag for what to do when you hit that transition phase, that's what we're gonna talk about next. Worth bearing in mind, some people have a delayed transition phase, so they can have a few wash days where things look amazing right at the start, and then suddenly their hair takes a bit of a slump and they don't know what's hit them. That's normal too, so if that's you or if that does happen to you, then, then be comforted in the fact that that is normal. So the number one tip I would have for getting through that transition phase is have a few quick, easy, but effective curly updos up your sleeve and I can definitely help you with that. I've got some on here which I'll link but I also have an entire highlight on Instagram called curly updos and I've got loads of different um, easy updos that you can do. So if you do wash your hair or you wake up in the morning after having washed your hair the day before and it's a disaster then you at least know that you can tie it up and curls, even messy, not so great wash day curls can look really good in a quick and easy updo because you've got the texture and the movement and you can't so easily see the wonky curls or the flatness if you have it all pinned up. Even if it's just as simple as having your hair in a high ponytail um, or a messy bun, it's okay to live in a messy bun. Sometimes We all do it sometimes. And remember that it's just something to get you through that transition phase and that you will get to the stage where you can wear your hair down more and enjoy your wash day curls. The second thing that I think is really, really helpful is to have a dry shampoo. So if you find that your hair is greasy and lank um, or producty feeling on wash day or perhaps on the next day, um, having something like a dry shampoo. So my favorite is the Hair Dance dry shampoo, but I think Lush have one as well, which is a powder form dry shampoo. I think a Cure have one as well. You can also make your own DIY dry shampoo with cornstarch, cornflour, or if your hair is dark, you can even use cocoa powder 
and I have heard people absolutely swear by that. It makes your hair smell lovely as well. It smells like chocolate. But it's just something that's going to soak up those excess oils that are on your scalp and uh, make your hair feel and look cleaner and just get you through till that next wash day. Another thing which is absolutely going to be essential when you're just starting it and going through that transition phase is figuring out a refresh for your hair. So there are so many ways to refresh. I have an entire playlist of different ways to refresh your hair, which I'll link. Um, so you can do, a, you could even do a full wet refresh if you need to. You could just re-wet your hair, you know, like rinse it under the tap or under the shower head and add some more products, you know, and, and restyle your hair. Um, but most of the time, you probably don't have time to be doing that every day and you don't necessarily want to completely wet your hair every single day. So some sort of damp refresh or dry refresh uh, might really help. Something like this, a continuous spray, oh, I almost sprayed that in my face. <laughs> a continuous spray bottle sends, oops, wetting my phone now, sends out a very, very fine mist of water. And it's a really good way to dampen down your hair. You can always add a tiny little bit of product, just a little bit in your hand, smooth it through and gently scrunch and then diffuse it dry or air dry. That can be a great way to do it. You can also just wet your hands and add a tiny little bit of product, emulsify it in your hands and smooth it over. My favourite these days is either a dry refresh with a little bit of curl cream, just kind of smoothed over the wonky curls, or I love the Umberto Janini Curl Jelly Refresh Spray, which I just keep banging on about because it really is that good. But in the early days, you might need to do a little bit more than once your hair is healthier and once you're through that transition phase. So you might find that wetting your hair down is the best option um, and adding a little bit more product. So just Practicing different refresh techniques is a really, really good thing to do to figure out which one works best for you. Uh, and then, you know, if you wake up in the morning and your hair just looks just a disaster, you know something that you can do to bring it back to looking presentable again. And I really, really think above all, the main thing is remembering that the transition phase absolutely does not last forever. It is just a phase and obviously the lengths of that phase are going to vary from person to person but remembering that if you stick with it you will come out the other side and you will start to see the, the best version of your hair and it's not an overnight quick fix, it's a long game but that long game is so 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 worth it and I am so glad that I stuck with it stuck with those three months of terrible hair way back at the start five years ago um, because if I hadn't then my hair would look nothing like this now and I have to say I love my hair it's become part of my identity and who I am it's my job it's so much a part of my life now that I can't imagine not having done that so please do stick with it if you're struggling you, you know you can reach out to me reach out to other curly girls who have been through it um, I, my dms are always open on instagram and I try my best to get through them as much as I can and just have that patience and perseverance which you know is a virtue but it's a tricky one I know it's tricky but I know you can do this you have this in the bag I believe in you you can absolutely get through the transition period I hope that that video was helpful and you found a few um, tips that might help you get through that transition period. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions. Um, maybe you're in the transition period right now and you have a specific question or maybe you have already been there and come out the other end and you have some tips for the newbies. So please do leave those in the comments as well and I will see you guys soon. Bye!